Well, hey there, everybody. I just want to give a big shout out to all the members that signed up, man. Really, it really touches my soul. Really, at the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate all y'all, man. Thank y'all so much. And if you haven't signed up, go right ahead and hit that little join button and just join in the family. So, thank you so much once again. Y'all have a wonderful day or night and take care. Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all do? Thank you for coming back as always. I appreciate it. Really hope you're having a wonderful day or night and welcome back to my channel as always i'm deluxe all right let's do another transformer review or a versus thing yeah so today i'll be taking a look at tarn or this is Coulter. this is mmc this is the original one and this is the newer one that came out it's a female version now her name is eris Aries. i think eris or aries golly eris this is ifs01 now this is a new line this is part of their infinite infinity uh it's like dimensions bridge Thanks for this. Uh, yeah, Infinite Infinity. So yeah, it's a new line they're doing. Um, more likely, we'll probably get some more recolors of her. And I heard uh, that they are doing another run. This sold out really quick. And uh, they did a couple runs, but they're going to do some more runs of her. So if you missed out on her, you're going to get a chance eventually. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, this is the female uh, culture. And I just was going to do a little comparisons. You know, I didn't, you know, everybody else has already got theirs and done a review. So I'm just going to do like a little versus thing against the original culture. And this is the female culture. So I hope you like it. Let's just get right to it. That's what you came for. Yeah. All right, folks. So there they are in their alt modes. They are both tanks, which is good. And they look really nice together. I love that. I love the purple and uh, black combo you know that color combo is really nice got a bunch of pink accents and purple and gold and silver man tons tons of paint all right so we'll take a look first we'll just put these side by side as you know culture is going to be a little bigger than the female culture heiress and it's the back right here Side by side again, like that. Both look really good. So we'll take a look at this one. This is oldie but goodie. It's been a while, a couple years. But yeah, love nice paint, silver, gold, pink. Once again, there I got some accent points. You got these little, I don't know, little feelers, I guess. Got some silver paint right there. Once again, some more paint, silver and pink. <clears throat> kind of pinkish purple. <clears throat> So these go in and out like that. Now these do go up or you can turn this. Now it kind of gets stuck. Now you can lift it up a little bit because it just pegs in and then you can get some more full rotation. And then these go up to about right there. Everything. So you got some nice gold accent points right there and the feet, silver. These are painted silver. So tons of paint for this guy. I just want to one of the better MMC ones, especially from the DJT. Really nice underneath. Now he doesn't have any wheels. She does have treads that roll and I'll show you that in a second. I like how the pistons are kind of painted silver that really pops. So it's a nice tank mode. I just wish I had some wheels so it could roll. I guess you can scooch it <laughs> if you want to. So there is Coulter, you know, the male tarn. Here's the female. And once again, beautiful paint job. Once again, the gold, you got the pink, kind of pinkish purple, silver right here, up here, pink, nice uh, purple accents right here. Then you got the dark purple right here, and the light purple is painted. You got some black paint for accent you know, points and stuff, and silver, gold, and tons. Now, I told you about the rolling thing, so they will roll. I don't know if they'll roll that well in here. Yeah, it's just going to scooch on this surface, but they will roll really good. Once again, some more paint. Some purple, silver, pink, right there, underneath, you can see the little hands, you see, and then this is the top of her head, you got gold, once again some gold, gold paint, tons of paint, this thing is painted really well. Now with this one, you can go all the way around, and you can lift it up a little bit, for a little, like that, and you do have these right here. If you want to do that, so it looks nice, really good. Nice little tank mode, I like it, looks really good. But there you go, there they are next to each other. Looks, looks freaking awesome, man, I like it. Once again, side by side, wow. And then back 
again. It looks good. Both are really nice, nice looking. So there you go. There's the alt mold for the Coulters, the male and female. And there they are next to x Bot's dead end, uh, their Stunticon, and just for a little scale reference. So he's a, they're both a little bigger than the car version, you know, car MP cars. But there you go. Scale. And crappy garnets, crappy toilet paper, care bears for more scale. All right, back from transformation, and there they are, and wow, they look freaking awesome together. Mm, there you go. Looks really good. Side there. In the back. The other side. Wow. You can see he did a really good job with these. Torn figures. All right, so we'll take a look at the male version real quick. Now, nice head sculpt. You can, I love the mask. You can take the mask off. Let's see if I can get it off. Jesus. And it shows his face right there. So that's pretty cool. Put that back on there. All right, you can look down quite a bit, up, side to side. A little attitude, not much, but a little attitude. That's good. These little things back here can move and everything. Hit the camera as always. All right. Arms can go up to there, all the way around. It does have a 90 degrees. That's my dog sneezing as usual. 90 degrees uh, elbow bend and a bicep swivel right there and a swivel of the hands. And they're all on one pin like that the thumb is stationary does not move like that all right once again beautiful paint job all that purple and pink silver good looks good waist swivel does have an ab crunch really nice and got his gun his big old gun tons of paint on there as well so he can, nice, eh, ratchet up to there, not much, back a lot, and you can do the Van Dam as well. It's got silver right there, nice gold for that. Thigh swivel, 90 degrees for the knee bend. Once again, love all that stuff right there, the, that really pops, having that, that paint and everything. Silver, purple, toe tilt down up and a rocker once again some nice paint i love that then the back looks good as well and like that i love how that fills in the gap right there so yeah really like that tarn it's a good figure so that is the male version all right moving on to aries move him out of the way a little bit and wow, looks good. Does have some die cast on the feet, so she's got a good weight to her. That looks good. Look at that chest. Tons of paint. Look at all this paint right here. My God, silver, purple, pink, black. Man, so good. Looks really good. Tons of paint right there as well. On the gun. The crotch area and the legs and the feet. Wow. In the back. She looks good. Really good. Tons of paint. All right. Now you can take her mask off. And once again, tons of paint on the face as well. Nice head sculpt. Got the gray, pink lips, and you got uh, pinkish purple eyes. Looks good. Nice orange, uh, not orange, but uh, gold for the head crest. And you got purple or pinkish purple right there on the ears and right there. And it looks like she has eyes right there. Looks like a tiger. Rawr. Looks good. So look down quite a bit. Look up 
and she's got like a I want to say like a hinge and a ball joint maybe I don't know she can do the giggity giggity you know the giggity giggity like that so she can do that um does swivel now she does have this really tight there's some tolerance issues with her and I'll go through that but it's really tight on her head and she can give you a little attitude as well but um this yeah this head thing is really tight so just be careful you don't want to snap or break anything off but it's a beautiful head sculpt I like it and I love the chest looks really nice all right so with the arms you do have like a butterfly so that's cool and these are weird I mean it's kind of like on a weird mechanism but <clears throat> you can get 90 degrees out that's nice all the way around see how that just moves everything just moves with it so that's fine but nice movements love the treads once again now you do have a 90 degree but then you have a double so this will disconnect and that will go all the way up with it i like how it follows that's pretty cool i like that that's really nice once again you got the purple and the gold paint right there the light purple looks really good all right so with the hands the hands are kind of weird they're kind of freaky they're like kind of freakishly big a little bit i think kind of got the kc thing going on they're individually moved now they are they will pop off uh they popped off quite a few times with me um so just be careful with that uh, they got three points of articulation for each one and they will start they will spread out a little bit as well and uh, they have like a and the thumb has like two points of articulations on a ball joint and it will move around so you know it's got tons of articulation for them but just be careful they will um pop off swivel in and out up and down very nice you got some silver paint right there looks good now for the back these things right there they can move you can move them down if you want to if you don't want them to have them sticking up they do have a little wiggle waggle there right there so you can move them and you can put them together uh, you can have them a lot you know however you want and then same uh, movements over here for this arm as well and you got the gun i think i'm going to take the gun off so I can, it just pegs in right there and it can peg on either side too as well all right so moving on to the waist area now she does have i'm a teapot tons of paint like that i told you already she does have a waist swivel does have an ab crunch and a back crunch too a little bit so that's good gold paint right here for the crotch now the hips <sighs> the hips are weird they're low you know they're really low right there uh, it looks like they should be up here now you can do this and you can get more you know uh, movement you know articulation out of it but they just feel really low to this hips and everything there's that little gap right here but um so if you just do it like that but then if you move it out a little bit like that it'll give you a little more can't do the full van down you do have a thigh swivel that's good and when you're kicking up it's not going to be straight up it's going to be like outwards so it can't kick straight up it's going to be like that like, like there because the hips get in the way the hips don't lie and same thing for the back too as well so i don't know the hips are just weird looking but you know i guess they work you know they're fine uh swivel then you got the purple paint like that another on the uh, gray plastic you got some swirly plastic right there now you do got a um single knee bend but you got it all the way up and i like how it follows through with that that looks good you got gold paint right here silver paint another gold paint purple paint my god this thing is painted toes are gold silver now it's got this joint just because of transformation it's kind of weird too I, I see that one you know as time goes on that's going to get a little weaker and when you're trying to pose her they will start you know flipping out like that so it gets kind of annoying so but you do have that you know joint for it give you a better um you know a rocker as well now you do have a tote uh, down and then up and then you do got a rocker but i said you can use this as well for you know help for a bigger rocker and you also got a toe tilt up and down all that stuff and you got silver paint and like i said gold paint just tons that's good all right and then that is articulation there's the back 
and yeah, just kind of got the bow legged kind of ankles or whatever they're called. So there you go. Let me clean these up a little more. We'll take a look at them again. All right, take a look at them one more time together. Once again, I forgot to mention the mask it has red eyes. So there's paint on the mask too. My God, they spent a lot of their budget on the paint. And it looks good. It shows. All right. In the back. One more side. So there you go. That is the articulation and the sculpt work of the female and male Tarn from MMC. Get that head straight up. Look at that finger. Just come on now. And real quick, there is a MP scale car and a Fans Toys uh, Stunticon breakdown for a little scale reference. Scale! And Crapagonis, Crappy Toilet Paper, Care Bears, and Squeaks for more scale. All right, folks, well, that was my versus or really kind of a comparison thing, you know, with uh, MMC Tarn and the female Tarn. This is a uh, Coulter and Eris. Now, still love this figure. It's great. MMC did really good on the DJD, DJD and this one, I think this was the first one that came out. No, it might have been the Sniper. I don't know. I think he might have been the first one that came out. Hit, hit me up in the comments. Tell me, I, I think I forgot, but I think he was the first one, but... Really still a great transformer. Love the tank mode. Transformation's easy. Paint is really good. I mean, you know, for yeah, for what it is. Really got some good paint. Articulation's really good. Now, mainly was doing a review over her. I like where they're going with this. I, I'm going to keep my eye on it. It's really good. Now, this is not perfect. It does have some issues. Tolerance, you know, especially with the head, the hips, this little, this thing right here. I don't, you know, this one, I mean, when you're trying to pose her, which... You can pose the crap out of her, but man, these things were just, you know, flop around sometimes. That kind of sucks. The hands are kind of eh. You know, like I said, they're, they're kind of like the old KFC hands, uh, but they're they're not bad. It's just they look weird. And they look too, I don't know if they're too big or something. I don't know. This kind of look wonky. And the hips. The hips are really just weird. They're, you know, all the way down. I kind of think they should be up a little bit. But other than that, paint is spectacular. My God, this thing is painted really good. Uh, the tank mode is really good. Transformation is easy. Uh, articulation is there. It's really there, but sometimes, you know, there's just some spots, you know, it's some of the tons are really tight and everything, but, you know, like I said, this little fly right here just really flops around a little bit. I don't like that. I wish they could have found a way to maybe lock that in. I know it's for a transformation, but I wish they could have, you know, try to, you know, maybe lock that in. But it gives her a little more, you know, uh, articulation, especially with the rocker. So it really helps and everything. But, Everything is just really, I'm, I'm liking this so far. I uh, Like I said, they're going to repaint probably her a couple of times at least. And everything, I'm, I'm you know, I'm curious to see what they're going to come out with this line. Because I really like it so far. You know, like I said, she's not perfect. But um, I love the treads as well. They're pretty cool. Sometimes trying to get her to stand. But um, yeah, she was fun. I had a great time posing her and taking pictures. Man, she can get in some great, great poses. So really, if, you're, if you love taking pictures of your Transformers, she is one to uh, have fun with and everything. So yeah, both of them are really good. I like what they're doing with it. Like I said, I'm really uh, curious to what they're going to do with this line. So we'll see. So that was my review. Hope you liked it. Hit me up with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go ahead and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. Hit me up some quick, you know, hit me up some comments. Tell me what you thought of the kind of comparison versus kind of thing. And if you liked it, which one do you prefer? Do you prefer the male version or do you prefer the female version? Like I said, I know they're going to uh, start releasing or they're going to do another uh, thing for her to get her. So if you missed out on her, you'll get a chance, so hopefully, and everything. So, yes, yeah, worth it. I think she's really worth the money. She's really fun. 
a great bot. So uh, I guess I'll see you in the next uh, Transformer review. And as always, be good to yourself. Hail Hasbro, and good night, folks.